When you purchase locally handmade jewellery, you are buying much more than an object. You are buying many hours of experimentation and failures combined with frustration and, of course, moments of joy. South Africa has endless local talent in jewellery design and creating, or rather, and creation, producing gorgeous pieces of art that anyone would be proud to wear. Local handmade jewellery produced from our natural resources is as diverse as our country and they are a testament to the high level of artistry and craftsmanship South African designers uphold. In South Africa we do have very good jewellery design talent. Uh, we've created a programme where there's between 150 to 200 graduates every year who have been trained locally and internationally and each one has their own stories to tell. Their collections and their pieces are different and the look and the feel and their talents and their skills is impeccable. So I would say we would rate amongst uh, the best in South Africa currently. Hailing from Lady Smith and KwaZulu Natal, Sandra Ndlovu started her training straight after high school and developed a love for each element of a jeweler's work. Firstly, I actually wanted to study psychology and <laughs> that was a tricky one and I found out that I'm, very, I'm a very creative person. That's when I got interested in jewelry designing and manufacturing. My designs are inspired by nature. I would say the trees, the seas, and the beds. Prior to obtaining her degree, designer Kanye Tetwa actually didn't know much about jewelry, but now runs her own small jewelry company. Initially, what got me into jewelry design was that I was interested in geology. And then I had this big chat with my dad and he wanted to find out why I wanted to do geology, which turns out it was because of the gems. So then eventually I did diamond cutting and then from there that led to jewelry design. Generally I like working with silver and my techniques are filigree. And those techniques are basically intricate and delicate type of technique. With my jewelry I always try to send across a message and that is mainly being different is okay. And for instance, like the piece I'm wearing, it's very different. You'd never find a skull with, you know, wire work, but also very wearable. So everything is made by hand. And uh, I think people also look at handmade designer jewelry and think it's very expensive and they can't afford it. So we need to educate the consumer and say, we can create any bespoke piece for you that is affordable. So, you know, whether we're using diamonds, platinum, 18 karat white gold, yellow gold, nine karat uh, silver, we can do anything. And what's so incredible about it is that that piece will be unique to that individual client. The advantage to support local up and coming jewelry designers in South Africa is first and foremost to create jobs and to showcase the skills and talents of what our designers can offer. We now offering the platform and I think, you know, uh, inspired up and coming jewelry designers should take it with open arms and, uh, you know, run with it because this is an opportunity that could change where they're at and take them to the next level. Talent like this needs your support. So next time you're looking for a unique piece for a special occasion or to add to your collection, look no further than our amazing South African designers.